pensioners are considering a special exemption to the city's no smoking ordinance. News Channel 6's Mary Calkins has the story. To make way for cigar bars, an amendment to a no smoking ordinance was voted upon in Tuesday's commission meeting, and the amendment failed, but it has gained support from city leaders and business owners. Business owners, including Russell Wilder, who owns Top Shelf Cigar and Tobacco Shop in Columbia County. He says if the amendment passes, he'll consider opening a cigar shop in Richmond County. About 2018-19, I was starting a business plan to open a cigar bar in Richmond County because you can have bars there, and it's a hot type of business now in the cigar industry. But in the summer of 2018, Augusta, Richmond County passed a smoke-free ordinance in all bars and indoor businesses. And the amendment voted on Tuesday would not change the smoke-free ordinance. What we're trying to do here is to allow for the establishment of a separate entity of a cigar lounge. This means if the amendment passes, you can only smoke inside designated cigar establishments, not inside regular bars and restaurants. And commissioners in support of the bill say it will be good for the economy and give Augustans more things to do. And then you go to any city the size of Augusta or slightly larger, you can find cigar lounges, you can find other fun things to do across the city uh, that, that will give you a different vibe, that will give you a different ambiance. It's good money, you know. If I, I look at how much I spend monthly on cigars, the city will do well. But other commissioners disagree and strongly oppose the amendment, which failed in Tuesday's commission committee hearing. Uh, this issue for me comes down to health over revenue. I anticipate that you're going to see a loud outcry in the entire community if we try to open up a cigar box, a uh, cigar bar. But Wilder says he sees it as a personal decision. Make exemptions for places where only smokers go. Mm -hmm. You can let people smoke when it's a room full of smokers. Mm -hmm. They are all assuming that risk voluntarily. And Commissioner Dennis Williams says it's likely to come up again in the next full commission meeting. For me, it's just once you open the box, it, it, where do you stop? And this is one of those issues where I think that we need to put the health and safety of these citizens first. In Augusta, Mary Calkins, WJBF News Channel.